Hello everyone, this is Outdoor Enthusiast 88 here again. Hope everyone had a great holiday and new year. Welcome to 2017 and we are back at the review table today reviewing a new product and it is the SOG Responder Bag. Uh, this is actually a kind of a neat little bag. It's under 20 bucks. It's a kind of a shoulder side kind of saddle bag. It's good for maybe short hikes. Um, primarily, it could be used for if you're taking your AR to the range. Um, it's built for AR magazines, potentially AK. Haven't tested that yet, but I wanted to bring this out brand new, just out of the bag. Got it off Amazon. They're on back order, back order right now, so keep an eye out for them. But this is the SOG Responder Bag. Here it is. Nice mesh, single shoulder sling. Has the tag. Padded main compartment, front AR magazine pouches, hold six AR mags, Molly equipped. It says Molly equipped right here. A couple of Mollies on here, not a whole lot. We got some Mollies on the side pouch here. Dual slider, uh, dual zipper sliders, two side pockets, front AR magazine. You guys can kind of read all those, get an idea of some of the specs there. And I'll put this on, I'll spin the camera around, show you guys what it looks like on and, and load it up a little bit. Primarily, like I said, this could be great for a range bag. Um, it's actually, you got the zip tie there, but you got Molly on the straps here. Kind of goes over your shoulder. It looks like it's more set up for a right hand. Uh, we'll test it with left, but it looks like it's more of a right hand with the pad coming out up here. On the side, kind of wrap around your back there. Does have a little belt loop it looks like. You can go and put this, uh, if you want to keep it real secure, you can loop it onto your belt with some Velcro. Have a little hook right here. So around to the front here, here are your magazine pouches. And I got some various AR magazines. Just kind of test it out. See what it looks like. This bag is brand new. A bunch of fluff there. It has um, these right here are elastic kind of pieces here. Give us some stretch. You really gotta yank on them to actually fit magazines in there. It's got a curved top here. Kind of fit over them. You can see that. So there's four magazines in there right now. Yeah, I'll put a couple more in there. Show you guys how easy it is. So with six mags, plus room for go for uh, your glasses, your ear protection, uh, maybe some cleaning stuff, maybe an extra box of ammo or two. I mean, if you're just going to the range with your AR. I'll show you guys you can use this as well as a uh, small rifle bag. All right, so going up to the top here, got a nice big zipper on top. Big old compartment in there. Not a whole lot to look at in there. It's got um, somewhat padding on the magazine side, but then this side right here, I don't know if you guys can see. Let me go and grab my uh, trusty flashlight. It's got the SOG right there, the SOG logo stamped throughout. Got Molly attachments on the inside, which that is good for, you know, if you want to put some extra attachments on there, if you want to put um, one of the interior holsters, you can grab something like your uh, concealed carry, put a holster in there, maybe some extra uh, attachments in there if you want. You got a side pocket over here. It won't fit, uh, fit probably some earmuffs in there. Uh, might fit some extra um, boxes of, of ammo in there. Little SOG stamp on the side, not removable, sewed in. Other side here, same thing. Nice big old pouch, pretty deep. This one does have um, 
looks like a three by three molly. Kind of, kind of tiny molly on the side here though. It looks like it's really, if you want to put like a single pouch on there, nothing too heavy gear or anything like that. Zippers aren't too bad. Um, you know, they're not, I don't think they are anything fancy. Nah, just kind of a basic, basic zipper. It's a generic zipper brand, nothing crazy on there. Not like the YKK, I don't think, as far as I can tell. It feels a lot like the SOG uh, day pack that I had. I actually reviewed that. If you guys want to look back and take a look at the day pack, that's actually a really nice uh, pack to have. But uh, let me go and uh, spin the camera around and I'll show you guys a little more about what this kind of looks like, how it feels, uh, what you can put in it. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So you can see, I have the uh, responder bag loaded up on my hip. Now all you do is you grab all your gear, put it in here. You grab one of these type cases, put your AR in here. And this is pretty cool actually. I didn't realize, but this actually has a lot of cool stuff. It actually has a uh, almost like a knife or a multi-tool pocket right here. It's open-ended, but if you have a clip, put it on right here. But you can see here's the bag. Really nice. Put a uh, carabiner on that clip here. You can lift it from there. Probably don't want to do it very long but put some gloves on there or something. You got your six mags in the front. You got the two side pouches and this one. Put a little pair of binoculars in there. This side over here. Little multi-tool flashlight. Something you might need at the range. And when you bust open the actual center pocket, you can see I actually have Put my shield in here with an outside the waistband holster. Howard lights, done a review on those. A little stable gun, box of nine, shooting glasses, spare mags. So, really, and you can probably put more in here, just that's gonna get a little heavy. But when you have a shoulder bag like this, you just kind of fling it around, it rests rest on your back about the five o'clock position. You can see it fits really well. No problem with weight distribution. I mean, obviously it wouldn't be this heavy on a hike, but it's a great range bag. I mean, I really can't say much about it besides that. It really, I mean, you can go if you want an AR, if you want to bring a sidearm with you, you got yourself your uh, handgun and your AR, all in one bag. Um, if you want, you just, you know, you can actually fold up some paper targets if you go into the range, put some paper targets in here. Um, like I said, grab that case, good to go with the rifle, so. So the SOG responder bag, really nice, and it does work with lefties. It's not designed so much for left-handed. As you can see, the back support piece here, the pad, is kind of in the front now. But if you sing, sing around enough, it kind of, still kind of doesn't really do anything now, but if it was in the back, it would kind of um, hold, support your back a little more. But it's not too bad. You can use it as a lefty as well um, for holding on your left side. But primarily, especially that little uh, multi-tool knife pocket, it's more of a, uh, a right side bag for sure. So, Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hey, subscribe to the channel. Like this video. Let me know if you have any questions below, and have a good one.